Hello and welcome to a mini trading tutorial from OptionsAtoZ.com, the website dedicated to teaching investors the art and science of options trading. In this video, we're going to cover the Order Rules menu in the Thinkorswim platform. Thinkorswim is a brokerage firm that specializes in options trading and provides you with the industry's most powerful options trading software, which is absolutely free just for opening an account. You can trade stocks, mutual funds, futures, commodities, currencies, and of course, options, all under the same account number. For more information, please visit their website at thinkorswim.com. Today I want to show you the order rules menu, how to use the various features, and why you might choose to use them. As you'll see, the main reason for using the rules menu is to time an order. For example, you can send an order at a specified date and time, cancel an order at a specified date and time, or even send an order based on a stock's price or even a technical indicator. So for example, if you want to place an order to buy IBM when it rises above its 50-day moving average, you can do so the instant that price occurs. Let's go to the Thinkorswim platform and see how to use the order rules menu. To find the order rules menu, you must have a tentative order sitting on your order entry box down here below. For this example, let's assume we're going to buy 100 shares of IBM and for those who are not familiar with placing buy and sell orders, I do have another video on YouTube called Placing Buy and Sell Orders in Thinkorswim, which will step you through this process a little better. But I've got IBM typed up here, and I'm just going to click on the asking price. That brings up the order entry line down here where I can make my changes. The order rules menu is found here at the far right in this little icon that looks like a cogwheel with a plus sign in it. And it doesn't matter what type of order we placed. It could be for stock, options, futures, forex. It doesn't matter. It could even be for a specific option strategy, such as vertical spread or straddles. No matter what type of order you place in Thinkorswim, you're going to see that little icon. If we click this icon, the order rules dialog pops up. And you'll see that there are three main sections. The upper one here is create order. The middle one is order conditions. And the bottom says order description. This top order here is nothing more than a faster way to make changes to your existing order without having to close out this box. So for example, if I want to change my order to buy 200 shares, I can do that right here. Otherwise, I would have to cancel out of this, make the change on that green line, and then come back into this. So that's the only purpose of this box up here. The main reason you would use the order rules menu is for this middle section where it says order conditions. And I have three different features in here. I have submit order at specified moment, cancel order at specified moment, and submit at specified market condition. Let's say that you want to submit this order at a specific time and date. Click in this white box right here and you'll get a date and a calendar icon and time in military time. I can change the date by toggling up and down on these arrows. I can also left mouse click and swipe by dragging my mouse across that field and type it directly from my keyboard. Or I can click on this calendar icon and the outer arrows here control the year. So if I want to go out to 2011 or 2012, I can do that quickly. The inner arrows control the months. If I ever want to get back to today's date, I click down here where it says go to today. Let's say that you want to place an order for the last trading day in February. Click on the calendar, go to February, and I can see the last trading day here is on the 26th. And I need to specify a time, always need to specify a time. Let's say you want to do it at 345 in the afternoon Eastern time. So that would be 1545, and then we have to specify the seconds, 00, and then hit enter. It's also important to understand that the time that Thinkorswim sees here is from your time that is on your system, such as you're seeing over here, where it says date and time. It is not picking it up from your PC. So don't look at that little clock in the bottom right hand corner of your PC and think that that's the time because they might be different. This is where they're getting the time from. If I were to click on OK, it would take me to the previous menu. I could then submit the order and this order would now be submitted on February 26 at 3.45 p.m. Let's uncheck this box. I can do a similar thing for canceling orders by checking this box down here. Same idea, 
pick a date and a time at which to cancel the order. I am also not required to use these independently. I can check both boxes. I can have it submitted at a particular date and canceled at a particular date. This cancel feature is a very nice tool for those of you who use good till canceled orders. Thinkorswim is one of the few brokerage firms that allows a GTC order to remain open indefinitely. So let's say that you want your GTC order to be good only for 30 days or 60 or 12. Just select GTC and then come down here and choose a date and a time to cancel it. So you can have customized GTC orders. Let's uncheck this box here and take a look at Submit at Specified Market Condition. To activate this feature, you need to click under this word symbol here in this blank area, and it will populate it with the current ticker symbol, which right now is IBM. Under Method, I need to choose, actually there's a lot of different things we could choose, but basically the bid, the ask, or the mark. The mark being the midpoint between the bid and the ask. Let's say you want to put it at the asking price. Over here on Trigger, at or below, at or above, strictly below or strictly above. So let's say we want to put this order in if it's at or below 122. This order will be submitted when IBM's asking price is at or below 122. I can also tie my order to other conditions. For example, what if the S&P SPX's value. Now in this case, I have to tie it to the mark or the midpoint. It will not let you submit it to the bid or the ask. But when the midpoint is at or below a particular value, I can do that as well. Or when Microsoft's asking price is at or below a certain level. And these would be or conditions. That's why Thinkorswim is telling you here, submit when at least one of the following. Not all of them are true, when only one of them, if any of them are true, it will submit the order. I can also have an order submitted when a certain technical indicator is reached. So under methods, down here at the bottom where it says study, and here I have simple moving average, length equals 50. So that's a 50 day moving average. And of course I can change this to any technical indicator that I want and to any length that I want, but just for this demonstration, let's go ahead and stick with a 50 day moving average. So I can say send this order when IBM's 50-day moving average is at or below a certain level or at or above a certain level. This is a very handy feature for option traders who often are looking to submit a buy or sell order based on the level of the underlying. And rather than having to guesstimate at what your options price will be, place your order to sell when the actual underlying reaches that price. That's really the main reason it's for, is to help option traders submit orders based on the underlying. And finally, down here at the bottom, we have order description, which is simply a written version of what your order is going to do. So if you're ever in doubt as to what you've done up here, it will spell it out for you down here. So for example, watch if I click on Submit Order. It's telling me now to submit on February 26 at 345. So that's just all this order description is, but it's a very helpful tool if you're using complex orders. Now that you understand the order rules menu, why would anybody want to use these tools? Well, you might be anticipating a news announcement, such as let's say from the Federal Reserve, and you'd like to send an order when the announcement is made, but are not going to be at your computer. Perhaps you wish to avoid the chaos during the first hour of trading, something that many traders refer to as amateur hour, but again, will not be at your computer. You can also use it as a risk management tool. I know many traders have systems where they might buy shares today and sell them in 16 weeks, for example, regardless of the price. Or maybe you're near year end and wish to sell your shares on the last trading day of the year for tax purposes, but again, will not be at your computer to do so. The reasons are endless, and the order rules menu allows you to place such trades. If you are interested in advanced training on the Thinkorswim platform, please visit optionsa-z.com. I have five-week Thinkorswim training classes where I'll show you how to use the system and, more importantly, why you would select one type of feature over another. Training videos are emailed to you immediately following each class, and you'll also get free updates whenever Thinkorswim makes changes to their software. If you have further questions, please feel free to email bill at optionsa-z.com. I hope you've enjoyed the video and now understand more about the order rules menu in the Thinkorswim platform.